So if I told you you could pick up a smartphone right now for under a hundred dollars and it will function very well, you would say, eh, I don't know about that Thunder E. Well, I'm talking about the Blue R1 HD. This is the latest device from Blue that is priced at a 109 for the 16 gigabyte variant or 100 for the 8 gigabyte variant. But you, you mentioned under $100. Well, they have an awesome partnership with Amazon that puts this device at $59.99 for that 16 gigabyte variant and uh, $49.99 for the 8 gigabyte variants. Now the difference in RAM is two and one. What I have here is uh, the variant with 16 gigabytes of RAM, uh, of storage, two gigabytes of RAM. It's got an eight megapixel rear camera and you've got this awesome design here. I have to say the first thing I noticed is actually the build quality. It is actually well designed, well built. You can see how awesome it looks for a hundred dollar smartphone. Volume rock and power buttons on the right hand side. The back has this nice flush look to it. That's the eight megapixel camera. Uh, LED flash is powered by a quad core MediaTek processor. That display is a five inch display. It's got curved, is a curved display on the edges, slightly curved, really nice. Um, it's a 720p display, a 420 nit, and you've got a five uh, megapixel front facing camera with LED flash. Now, micro USB for charging, and when we open up the back cover, that reveals, of course, what you expect from most blue devices. It's a dual SIM device, which means it's a dual SIM LTE device. You can use an AT&T, Metro PCS, and T-Mobile. You've also got micro SD expansion up to 64 gigabytes. And the battery there is a 2500 milliamp battery and should last you the whole day, and I'm talking about 24 hours. I really can't stress how I like this device, especially for its price point. Whether you're paying $100 or $109 or $100 for either of the two variants, or you're paying just $59.99 or $49.99 uh, through Amazon Prime, this is a really nice device. Now, the only bummer I really have here is the fact that Blue usually packs in a lot of accessories with, with your devices. And with the Blue R1 HD, that is not the case. Blue is only packed in uh, um, an adapter as well as a USB cable to charge and that's pretty much it so it's a bummer there I wish they had all the accessories they usually pack in but still for the price point you're paying here you really can't complain now what are you paying for with that a uh, reduced price point at uh, $59.99 at $59.99 and $49.99. Well, you get some ads coming from Amazon and that's really it. It's on your notification screen, not intrusive. You can go in and log into your device. And once you get in, um, you have Amazon apps that are installed there and you've got an Amazon widget. That's it, done. Uh, this is running stock Android 6.0. So you have some of this pre-installed apps like Alexa, IMDB, Amazon Video Now, uh, the Amazon widget that allows you to purchase immediately. So you've got all those things uh, right there for all your Amazon needs, but it doesn't slow the device down. It's not intrusive because this is actually stock Android 6.0. The apps are just pre-installed applications here and you can see it here. You're running it really smooth with the two gigs of RAM. I really can't complain. And also that 720p display uh, with the 420 nits actually looks pretty good. Um, um, I have to say. Now going in, of course, into the settings, you can see here, this is again, stock Android. As we go through, there is no custom overlay. There is no um, specific UI overlay from uh, from Blue on this device. And we can go in and check out the uh, device uh, uh, specifications. And you can see, of course, it's running Android and Nougat, or whatever it's called now. But I do like it. I like what they've done here. And as someone who's looking at a smartphone, if you're looking to pick up something that uh, you can quickly use, travel with you, I, I think you really can't go wrong with this. It's got, it's got some really nice use case elements here. Now, you've also got cameras, right? You've got a front-facing camera that's five megapixels, LED flash, rear is eight megapixel. The camera app is simplistic enough. Uh, you can change a few things in there. Um, you can do some smile shots. You can set at 60 frames uh, for a flicker. You can also change your flash. And like I said, you, the flash there's a flash with the front-facing camera. So you can actually take a photo with a flash in the front. But I'm actually gonna showcase a couple of uh, images we've taken from both the rear and the front camera. And so you guys can get a good idea of what you're getting. Uh, 1080p video is also capable with the camera, but it's not something we focus on because it really wasn't that necessary. Now, this is from the front facing camera here. This is in daylight, there's no flash by the headphone wall. Um, the camera does a decent job. Now, this is with flash in a dark area. Again, like I said, it does a decent job. It's not going to wow you anyway, 
but you can take photos with it and not feel like you're taking crap. Uh, daylight photos, what you notice with daylight photos is that it, it does capture daylight quite well, um, but it doesn't illuminate as much as you would like to. Again, you're getting a phone for literally 109 or way less uh, if you're an Amazon Prime user. Now let's talk about gaming uh, as we move forward because you're going to see some gameplay from Evil Bane. I want to show you how well this phone actually handles that. So there you have it guys, I was right. You can pay 109 or less and get a pretty good smartphone in hand. I think the Blue R1 HD really hits the mark in giving a customer something that's affordable, also very, very functional. So even if you're spending 109 or 100 for either the 16 gigabytes of storage or two gigs of RAM or the eight gigabytes of storage or two gigs of RAM, you're getting a good buy. Or if you're an Amazon Prime user and uh, you want to pick this up, you can pick it up for just $59.99 for that 16 gigabyte variant or $49.99 for the 8 gigabyte variant. You really can't go wrong with this. I, it's, it's really amazing that they were able to hit this price point. I like the fact that Amazon's doing this. So as a prime user myself, this is something I can pick up for my cousins. I can pick up as gifts and I'm like, ah, it's not expensive. It's okay, it's cool. So I like that about it. Um, if you have any questions, guys, or any comments about the Blue R1 HD, let us know. Otherwise, don't forget to like and share this video, favorite this video, subscribe to the channel, and always enjoy your entertainment.